The next element of the CRAAP test is relevance, which is the importance of the information for your needs. Relevance is possibly the most important part of evaluation. So how do we know if something is relevant? Let's go back to our old friend, the information need. Knowing your information need is particularly important when determining relevance. Let's look at some questions you should ask yourself to determine if a source is relevant for your information need. Does the information relate to your topic or answer your question? This is where having an information need is essential. If you just start with an unfocused topic, you'll get way too many results. For example, smoking. Without a defined information need, you would get results that look at the history of smoking, the physical effects of smoking on the body, nicotine addiction, cancers, industry profits, deaths, or marketing to name a few. Now let's refine that information need. If your information need is to learn how smoking is marketed to teens, all of those sources that covered history, effects, addiction, cancers, profits, or deaths would not be relevant to our need. This is why having an information need is so important in research. Next, you should ask yourself who is the intended audience. An article in a trade publication for the tobacco industry pushing for more aggressive marketing to teens would not be as relevant as a scholarly article that provides statistics on marketing campaigns and teen smoking. Another question to ask yourself is, is the information at an appropriate level? Which means is the source too elementary or too advanced for your needs? I once had a student who cited an essay by a sixth grader in a college level paper. Needless to say, the level of research in the six papers essay was way too elementary for use. You should always consider, have you looked at a variety of sources before determining that this is one that you will use? Here's an expert tip for college level research. If your assignment calls for three scholarly sources, look at a minimum of six and rank them according to relevancy. You may only use three of them, but you can be more confident that you're using the best, most relevant sources for your information need. Finally, you should ask yourself if you would be comfortable citing this source in your research paper. If you have any doubts at all, don't use it. It's better to look at a few more sources than to have your instructor question you on a source. Remember, Refine your information need before you start your research. You'll be glad you did.